Okay, for this is uh, this is the burner for my waste oil heater. This is my waste oil heater. You can see it in some of my other videos. But uh, what we're going to do today is uh, some of the measurements that I I gave on the uh, other videos were a little bit incorrect. So I'm going to get through and give these uh, exact measurements with a tape measure, so you guys can see uh, what we've got. And in the other videos, I've explained this. Uh, this is our oil reservoir or our burn chamber this is our air intake tube and then we place our hat on top of the air intake tube so uh, the air comes up through the intake tube hits the top of this goes back down the sides of the air intake uh, of the hat and then it's forced to come out of these 90 degree fittings and create a swirling motion uh, inside the the burn chamber so let's disassemble and we'll go over some of these. Uh, I believe in the previous videos I've stated that this was eight inches and it is actually seven inches. So it's seven inches tall, I mean uh, wide, sorry, seven inches diameter and the height is seven inches. And the height from the bottom up and to the uh, center of the air hole is uh, about an inch and a half. Now, the air hat has to be taller than the air intake pipe. So, from the inside of the plate up to the top of the pipe, it seems to be four and three eighths, but the total height is five and an eighth because we have a little bit sticking out of the bottom so it can center the burn burn chamber center in the burn chamber okay the outside walls of the burner is three and three eighths inches tall um, and the diameter of the inside pipe the air intake is four and an eighth, and the diameter here, I believe I had mentioned it was 12 inches, and it's actually 11 and a half. Um, if you notice here, are the nuts inside, there are four nuts I welded inside here. That is so that the air hat can center itself, so those would be a diameter of seven inches. Uh, is there anything else that I need to show you here? Let's show you the inside of the air hat. Uh, the air hat was actually made out of a made out of a fire extinguisher, and you can see that there's um, half inch holes right behind the half inch 90 degree elbows. Uh, the fire extinguisher's got a nice little, um, I guess you'd. Uh, uh, it's not flat on top, it kind of channels the air, goes up and hits and goes around the sides, forces the air back down the sides. <clears throat> so, in the bottom of this guy, there again, we've already measured this, but say 11 and a half inches. And then uh, we've already measured this, four and eight. And uh, sticking out of the bottom of this, uh, you can do the math, but I can't read it. It looks like probably a quarter of an inch. Just enough sticking through there so it'll center itself in that hole, in that plate. So that's pretty much all it is to our uh, our burner. Um, after I get the door sealed up, as you've seen in the other videos, the door is uh, not sealed. After I get that uh, sealed up, I'll probably have to tune the uh, tune the air on the burner. Um, hopefully, I won't have to add any more holes, but uh, we'll see. I'll let you know. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get them answered. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay. Um, forgot about this um, you don't necessarily have to have this um, Jerry's DIY 
uh, recommended putting a brake rotor or some type of piece of heavy metal on top of the burner to more or less squash the flame. Um, so instead of the flame going straight up, uh, what we're doing is we put this guy, which it happens to be 10 inches. Uh, this is a the outside of a harmonic balancer off of a Caterpillar in diesel engine. Um, so what I do is I just set it right on top and uh, works rather nice. The flames, you know, some of the flames will come through here, uh, these outside ports, and the rest of it uh, has to go around the outside of the uh, of the brake rotor, and I'm not brake rotor, the uh, harmonic balancer. And uh, this this thing gets red hot when it's uh, when the fire is burning. So you don't necessarily have to have it. Um, I feel like it probably does a little bit better when it gets red hot. It does a little better job of uh, completing the burn of the gases uh, that are uh, come from the oil. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, uh, comment, share, subscribe.